Hey there, thanks for tuning into this tutorial on Macromedia 2. And uh, so we're gonna jump right into this. So you wanna know how to slow down or speed up your clips in uh, Sony Vegas. Now it's really, really simple. And um, it, if it seems confusing for a second, um, at one point, I'll tell you when that point is. Uh, don't worry, it's, oh, it, yeah, you'll, you'll see why in a second. Okay, so we'll start up with the simple method that isn't very accurate, but it's quick and, um, it's pretty much applicable to, I mean, if you're not gonna take it too seriously, it's fine just to use this method. Hold down control, and then just drag out your clip longer, and that stretches your clip to be slow motion. Now you can see when I play this clip, they are moving a little slowlier through the air. Slowlier, is that a word? I think it is. All right, well, we'll go a little slower than that, so you can get sort of effect you can see there. And uh, one useful thing is that when you go back, say you want to make it real time again, and when you drag it through, you'll notice that your clip will actually stick. It sticks right there for me. That means that is real time. It gives sort of a, a sticking uh, notification. Now, the reason that this isn't the best method, in my opinion, is because we're shooting at 60 frames a second. Now, what that means is that if you just sort of blindly go like this and scrub and stretch it out or shrink it by the way it's the same method if you want to speed it up just shrink the clip and it'll be faster see there you go um so i'm going to go back to full speed now the reason this isn't the best method is because see i'm back to normal time now and um what happens when you kind of blindly just um slow down the clip like this is you'll get frame blending which means that you're going to see two frames in one um and i'll see if i can get a close-up of it basically as you can see here there's kind of some ghosting going on that's because they're trying to fit three frames into one frame and mathematically the timing of 60 frames fitting into the second isn't working out all right this is where it gets a little confusing and to make it so that it's stretched out into 24 frames a second like my timeline is i'm playing everything back at 24 frames a second to um, render out smooth slow motion right click on your clip and hit properties then go to playback rate and just hit 0.4. That is the mathematical calculation for how slow it should actually be. Now when you drag this out, you'll notice um, your clip kind of invisibly exists beyond this point. So when you just drag it out like this, um, uh, you'll see you're kind of uncovering it. And there's the real end of the clip now. See, this is how long it really is. And when you play this black, is absolutely, um, you know, I'll see if I can get a better shot of it. Right about uh, here is some movement. There's no ghosting going on around him. Maybe a bit of motion blur, but that's not the same thing. Now, if you want your audio to be stretched out to be the same length, by default what will happen is your audio will actually loop and it won't slow down like with that deep voice. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit, prop, right click on the audio track and hit properties, and then go to classic. And then don't hit loop hit normalize then go okay make sure lock to, sp lock to stretch is uh, chosen and then now when I shrink this down and then hit control and stretch this one out it too will be um, I don't know if you can hear it or not but now it's all thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, if you like this content please subscribe